Hey there, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use ParaMiner to find a fat get cache poisoning vulnerability as documented in my recent web cache entanglement research. So for our target, I'm using an application I built myself, so it's very simple, but the reason it's vulnerable is because I'm using the rack cache module. Uh, at the time I'm recording this, this is currently a zero date, so anyone using rack cache is vulnerable. So I've just loaded this home page. It's triggered a few requests, which we can see, and I'm going to select everything in scope, right click, go to bulk scan and choose fat get, which is going to tell param miner to scan for fat get poisoning. We get loads of options. Just stick with the default ones. Uh, if you can't see the confirm button because your screen is too small like mine, then just press control enter. So if you check over on the extender tab, you'll see we've got some information telling us this attack has been launched and completed. And if you're using the community version of Burp rather than Pro, then any findings will appear over here as well. Uh, but because we're using Pro, we should instead find this find the findings appear on our dashboard, uh, such as over here. So if we take a look at this, we'll see it's found that it's taken this callback parameter from the query string and it's put it in the body of, of the request and it's stuck a canary on the end of the base value and this has been reflected back in the response. So we'll see we get a hit for it and then it's resent the request as is but without our canary in the request and the response still contains our canary showing that we've poisoned the cache on this page. Uh, you can see it's done so using a cache buster, so it probably hasn't affected any real users, but we've demonstrated that the vulnerability is there. Uh, so now let's just have a go at seeing if we can replicate this issue and exploit a real web browser. So we're going to take the request and send it to the repeater. And if you look in the proxy, you'll see the URL that our victim is going to load is the one referenced on the home page over here. Uh, so that's what we want to poison this URL. Uh, so I'm going to grab that. That's our target. And we're going to change the callback to just to alert and hopefully that will do the job okay you can see our alert thing hasn't come back it just says load and that's because we've got a cache hit uh, as you can kind of tell from the headers here so I'm going to send a purge request which is going to helpfully delete this cache entry and now you can see we do have alert coming back if we change it to get we've still got alert coming back and we have a cache hit and if we take this and get rid of the body so now we're sending what a browser would send we still get alert coming back and so finally if I take that URL copy it paste it into the browser no I don't sorry if I load the home page in the browser the browser will fetch that URL get poisoned and alert will pop up hopefully oh dear so why hasn't this worked well, it's probably because, no, I'm not sure. Why hasn't this worked? Let's have a look at what the browser sent. Okay, it's because the browser has cached this JavaScript file itself in its client side cache. So if I do a force reload, the exploit fires. Fantastic. Uh, 